Hello, it's Kirith here and welcome to Bucknell Park for the first Sprint 60 heavyweight round of the Club 100 2020 Championship. I've live tracked the positions of the carts around me so you can see what's going on and hopefully you find the video interesting. I've actually already uploaded a 360 degree version of this race uh, which came out better than I expected so I'll put a link to that in the description below. And if you do like these videos then please do subscribe. I try and upload weekly, sometimes more than that. But let's get into the race. It's actually been about 10 years since I was at Butmore Park in the dry and I forgot just how much fun this track is, especially this part here as you go down to the bends and compress here, try and take as much curb as possible, swing over to the left and then try and get a good exit here and um, running over the curb. It really is much more demanding in the dry than the wet I found and doing two 30 minute races was actually pretty tough. But I found myself at the back of this midfield pack and actually had a pretty hairy moment here where the guy in 24 spins, I end up on the grass, rally a bit, get back on the track sideways and if someone was coming full speed there would have been a bit of an accident there. And in fact there was a red flag in a similar position that stopped the race just before this. Now I've dropped a few positions because of that off field excursion but I can see the cars ahead of me I was pleasantly surprised with my pace, I could kind of hang with these guys and even make some overtakes like here and I think my aim for this season is going to be trying to work my way up the 20s and try and have some good midfield battles. I actually come in just over the weight limit so I have a bit of a natural advantage down the straights from some of the really heavy guys, although I had to pay for that a little bit by wearing a number of layers to come in over that weight limit so I might invest in a bit of lead to kind of free me up there. But there was some really fun racing, some really close racing, some great overtakes and it's a very different track in the dry than the wet here. In the, in the wet we were doing lap times of about 1 minute 10, in the dry in this race everyone was doing 46s or 47s. I still have a lot to learn about racecraft. You see, I, can, I went to the outside there and that just opened the door on the inside to this guy. So really, I sort of stayed on the inside there. Although I think I follow him through here. The other guy locked up a little bit. And a yellow flag. And again, I think I run a bit wide and you can see I've left the door open. There's some things for me to kind of think about, practice. I might go down to Daytona for a few more practice sessions in the DMAS carts. But I was just happy that I could race with these people. And even though I haven't done a dry race in Club 100 for a very long time. Um, I think I have some base pace and if I can improve that then I should be in for a lot of fun. You can see here I'm closing, closing, closing. It's an unusual pace to overtake it. It was pretty hairy <laughs> but I try and stick, stick it on the inside and get it done. I didn't want to lose more time around um, the first couple of corners here. You can see people are battling ahead. It's always a good feeling when people are battling ahead of you I find um, because you know they're losing time. So I've stopped the live tracking now, but if you like that, then let me know and I can um, put that in all the way through the videos. It can be helpful to see kind of what position I'm battling for and when people are overtaking. That was a pretty good move by him. Um, but I'll let you enjoy the video now. If you have any questions or comments, um, then please do provide them. It's always good to see what you're interested in and I can respond to that. So, yeah, see you next time.